what up youtube it's your boy anime specialist so uh, before i start my review i just want to wish y'all a happy holidays and a merry christmas i hope that y'all are having fun with your family and friends but anyway man uh, this episode was really 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 good it was better than I, than I expected because of all the backstory and information that we got from this episode so uh, let's get right to it so one of the things that was different in this episode than it was in last week's episode was the type of art uh, that they made and it was a, a bit different than what we saw in last week's episode and I'm not gonna lie, I, I prefer this normal type uh, Black Clover an animation and art, that's just my opinion. Uh, last week's wasn't bad but I really like this original artwork from uh, the Black Clover anime and manga. But Asta was able to retain himself from killing Noah for a moment there. Obviously, we know that in last week's episode, the Queen Witch uh, was able to take control over Asta because of her blood magic. So that's why he's not in control of himself. But what happened after was uh, the best part of the episode for me. The star of this episode was by far Vanessa because of what we saw in her backstory and the magic that she can uh, develop and own we saw those flashback a little bit in the underwater temple arc and we saw it in the opening so uh, it was refreshing to know why she was in a cage when she was younger now we know why she was in prison in a bird cage the reason why is because uh, the queen witch uh, wanted her to own and to uh, realize her potential because she has a special kind of magic now we know what the witch queen was talking about but before i talk about that i just want to say that it was cool to see vanessa at a young age with short hair it was different and i i love backstories and anime that's one of my favorite thing about anime the backstory of some characters are so deep and everything so i really like her backstory even though it wasn't that much uh, I really like her and that's one of the reasons why she's become one of my favorite characters of the show. So uh, I hope we'll see more of her. I hope that we'll see uh, her power develop and everything because yeah man, she's become one of my favorite characters in the show. The way that Vanessa escaped the first of witches was way different than I thought it would be. Obviously I had a hunch that uh, Yami was going to be the one that uh, broke uh, Vanessa out of the birdcage and the first of witches but it wasn't really what happened he was just training and uh, for some reason he ended up in the first of witches so that's how Vanessa escaped and he basically said to her that she has to decide by herself what she wants to do uh, uh for herself you know so that was kind of cool from Yami. he's a, obviously a younger Yami, so i don't know if he was uh the black bulls captain yet or or something but uh yeah man it was kind of cool to see obviously i like i said i i, I like the way that we saw a uh, young vanessa uh, she found her, a family with the black bulls and everything so i really like that part but yeah, I'm just gonna say that Vanessa's new spell is kind of OP because she can basically decide uh, the fate of the people that she loves. So uh, that's kind of OP, but I love it. It's a different kind of spell that we've seen in this series and a different kind of power. So I'm wondering how she will use her new spell and her new power in the future. If it wasn't for Vanessa's new spell, Noel would be dead, Finwell would be dead by uh, Asta's hand. So uh, it would have been crazy. Asta wouldn't have forgave himself for for killing Noel or Finwell. So because of her, all of them were saved. And the crazy part is that uh, the Queen Witch was really, really uh, triggered or surprised by uh, Vanessa's new power because Vanessa was able to stop uh, the queen witch so that's how OP uh, Vanessa's new spell is because she's she basically stopped one of the most powerful characters that we've seen in the anime series so far so that's crazy even in the flashback Yami said that he wasn't strong enough to fight uh, the uh, queen witch so that's crazy one of the other reasons why the Queen of Witches imprisoned Vanessa in the birdcage is because when Vanessa would have developed her new spell, the Queen of Witches would have basically did what 
she did to Asta take over Vanessa's body and controlling her. So because of that, the Queen of Witches would have been basically the most powerful being in the world, you know. So that would have been crazy too for her to basically control the fate of other people's lives. So uh, that's crazy. She had a plan. She didn't even care about Vanessa. She, she said in the episode that... Uh, she, they are family that she's her daughter and everything but she really don't care about Vanessa she only cares about uh, the power deep in her uh, and how strong she can be and how she can use Vanessa to her own uh, benefits you know so uh, yeah man let me know what you thought about this week's episode in the comments down below like i said i thought it was really really good it wasn't a, as action-packed as last week's episode but uh, the way that they executed this episode, the backstory of Vanessa, uh, the things that we learned, I think because of that, it was a really, really good episode. And uh, the things that Vanessa did in this episode were crazy. And uh, I'm just hyped about how strong she can become. She can become one of the strongest in the Black Bulls. And I really didn't know that that would happen, you know. So uh, I'm hyped about uh, the future of Vanessa in the Black Clover series. Because of her power, the Queen of Witches was, was kneeling at the end of the episode. So that's how crazy uh, good she is right now. So we'll have to see what's going to happen with the Queen of Witches in next week's episode. In the next week's episode preview, we saw that Asta was getting uh, healed uh, by, I think, the Queen of Witches with her blood magic. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I don't know why the Queen of Witches would do that, but we'll see. And we saw that uh, the bird, I don't know, I don't remember his name, but the bird is uh, looking at one of the, uh, one of uh, the hearings of uh, the Queen of Witches. So I think it's maybe one of the magic stones. So uh, because we know that because I think uh, the Eye of the Midnight Sun came to the Forest of Witches to take one of the magic stones. So I think the earring is actually a magic stone. So uh we'll see if the black bulls will be able to take uh, the magic stone so they have i think maybe three or four of the magic stone right now so yeah man it's getting interesting uh there's still an enemy that they have to fight the eye of the midnight sun so uh this will be interesting we still got a lot to learn about the Black Clover series. We, there's still a lot that we don't know, especially what's happening with Lich, why he hates a human, and all these flashbacks uh, that we saw uh, with Lich, with Fana, with uh, uh, Veto, uh, the elves, and everything. So there's a lot of things that we don't know yet. And there's, like I said, there's still uh, the Eye of the Midnight Sun to fight, man. So. Uh, I'm excited about what's ha what's gonna happen next in the Black Clover series. Let me know uh, what you thought about, what you think about the series so far, the anime series so far. And one of my question is, who is your favorite character from uh, the Black uh, Clover series so far? So yeah, man. Uh, thank you for watching. I do other anime related things like One Piece reviews. Uh, Sword Art Online reviews and uh, Fairy Tale reviews. I usually do Boto and uh, Naruto Next Generation reviews, but it's in a filler, so I'm waiting for it to catch up to the manga. But uh, yeah, man, uh, Black, Clover, Black Clover reviews every Tuesday, as usual, even though it's the holidays. I'm I'm, I'm gonna continue to grind and do uh, anime uh, reviews. So yeah, man, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I hope that y'all are having fun and everything. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Anime Specialist out. Peace.